Tonight's boxing action proudly brought to you by Madison Sport. Let's bring out the boxers! We've got, ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the card. Oh, clubbing left hook. Unbelievable. The crowd go ballistic. Ladies and gentlemen, full night of boxing ahead still and we'll roll straight into our second event this evening. Welcoming to a centre stage from the Gold Coast, out of the powerful Chubby McAvoy stable and fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 71.89 kilos, wearing the black trunks. Please make him feel welcome, Clayton Collier! And his opponent to fighting out of the red corner. He lives and trains in Brisbane, Queensland and has been prepared for tonight's bout by Mr. Robbie DeLang. Tonight he weighs in at 71.55 kilos, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. Please welcome to the ring the former New South Wales amateur champion, Jason Hutburn! This is another four by three minute round affair and your referee is Mr. Steve Marshall. Hey, hey fellas, I've spoken to you both, you know exactly what I expect from you. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch them up, good luck to both of you. Bye bye. Who's the other judge? Don't hold, boys. Don't hold. Box out. Don't hold, don't hold. Okay, break!
Ben al boy. Came from a punch. Yep. Here's the lovely Kaz again. Well, pin up Get the motion. Get ready. We have three freaks in the team of Blood Steelers supporting uh, local boxing. Then there's Cherry from the River 94.9. And the back row is Okay, break! Something Clayton. Right, you're coming too many. Sorry, mate. I can't even wear them. Oh, that's nasty. 
good right hand that would. Did it. No, no, mate, that was the right hand. <laughs> it was. Folks, uh, time now to formalise the verdict there. It was for all to see. The referee putting a stop to the fight. Two minutes and 35 seconds into the second round. The winner by way of knockout, Jason Hartman. Jason, it's always a good place to start. A little bit of support there. I think the team from uh, the security company are with you now, and uh, I reckon that they might uh, shout you a cool one maybe later on tonight. Yeah, I think so. I think I should get tomorrow off work, so I think I deserve it. Surely they won't make you shape up tomorrow. I think it's a day in lieu somehow or other. Congratulations, mate. Uh, that was your second pro fight, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I don't do much, I pretty much just train and work. That's pretty much my life. <laughs> I love doing it. A nasty gash on the left eye there. Uh, came about obviously very early in the fight. Did that concern you at all? Uh, it did a little bit, but um, during the first round, it was a blur on my vision a bit. But me trying to fix it up, so it was all good for the second round. You've let loose with a couple of big bombs there that stopped the fight. Must have felt okay. Yeah, it was pretty tough. I thought he was going to go earlier, but. Jeez, yeah, it was tough, eh? It was tough. Anyone that comes out of Chubby's uh, stable is always going to be here for a fight. Congratulations to you, and once again on a job well done. Jason Hartman, our winner. And just a quick word from uh, Clayton. He just stung you there, mate. Things were travelling OK, but uh, he got a couple on you. Yeah, um, no excuses, you know. Jason, top fighter, big fella, you know, this and that. Um, I'm really a 68 kilo fighter. Um, I got the phone call Wednesday night to take the fight tonight at 73 kilo. Haven't trained for a while, unfit. Haven't fought for over a year. Thought, why not, I'll take it. And um, yeah, Jason showed me up, but no excuses. Uh, yeah, hopefully next time I'm in the ring, I can put on a better performance for the crowd. And hopefully um, Angelo has me back and I promise I'll be fit and ready and I'll be fighting at 68 kilo to fight whoever's out there. Sorry again, guys. That was just, I'm really disappointed with my effort, but well done, Jason. Well done. Not much to add there, Clayton. You've said it all, mate.